Okay, so uh, we have done, hopefully this shows up reasonably well on the screen. Um, we've done a plot of x and 2x plus 3 uh, over x plus 4. So yep. x is in uh, blue and the rational function is in uh, orange. So why don't you tell me what you see here? Okay, so we're looking for areas where x, the blue line, um, is less than or equal to this orange line, so it's where it's below the blue, the, the orange line. Um, and we see that it starts below at this end, and then at some point, um, at this is at negative 4, where um, this side is going to positive infinity, and then this side is sort of coming from negative infinity, and so it switches over to this part. And then um, at between negative 4 and this point, the blue line is now above. So these values don't make the equation true. Okay. And then they cross over here. Now the blue line is below. So these, in between these values work, and from uh, when we solved it, that's probably between negative 3 and 1. And then at negative, or at 1, it crosses over again, and it's steadily rising, x is steadily rising, and then this is um, either not rising or it looks like it's rising slowly. So we think it's never going to cross over again. Oh yeah, yeah, and actually you haven't you haven't really studied uh, rational functions, but this this function is two x plus three over x plus four. So what do you think happens to that function as you as it goes mm -hmm. towards infinity? You said it looks like it's rising, but what what do you think happens as x gets bigger and bigger? What happens to the function two x plus three over x plus four? Well, the the plus three and the plus four aren't going to really matter when x is like in the millions. Uh -huh. It's going to look like. Um, 2x over x, which is, which means um, this is going to sort of converge to 2. Yeah. Good job. All right, hey, that's really good work, and, and it was really good, careful work with the algebra, too. So, high five. Good job, huh?